Tonight we are again answering your questions about COVID-19. One viewer wrote in saying she's hearing about people getting the virus, but the state website shows no new cases. Donna says, what's the deal? Tenders reporter Grace King explains why those daily case counts are no longer coming from the state or Knox County. The Knox County Health Department says it's working to prioritize its resources and how it handles COVID, but also all of its other responsibilities. For now, that means COVID data will come once a week. We've been providing that data for two years. The community knows what to do. Nearly two years into the pandemic, the health department is tired. We're all tired of it. We're all tired of, of these. We're tired of um, the challenges that it presents for all of us and our families. But in Tennessee, COVID cases are at an all time high. Hospitalizations and deaths are climbing too. We are seeing a surge, absolutely, just like the state and the rest of the country. Um, but that's why we need to bring it back to it, that layered mitigation strategy, continuing to do those things. The sheer volume of cases is once again straining our health care system. Challenges is when transmission gets this high and we have this many numbers, even a lower hospitalization rate is still a ton of people. Four days ago, KCHD reported one of its highest case counts ever. But we can't tell you how it's looked since because that's the latest data we have. KCHD says there's no plans to change that right now. Things are very different now than they were in March of 2020 or in April of 2020. Um, but regardless, we are dedicated to finding the best ways to communicate that are sustainable for our team, um, but also provide good information for our community. Grace King on that update. We asked the health department again for clarification on its weekly data reporting. A spokesperson says it reports Sunday through Saturday, and that data is on Wednesdays. They say that's modeled after the state. A spokesperson says in part, we encourage people to look at the trends. The big takeaway is that we are experiencing a surge related to Omicron that is also being seen across our state and country.